This is what today is about. This is what this video is about. Is this the roll, the bead that Paul rolled? Yeah, dude. Damn, it looks good. He did a good job. And they all come that way? They all come that way. Wow, you're fuzzy. Oh, there you go. Now you're clear. <laughs> yeah, that's our new... Uh... Look, I look I'm, it looks like your head is, like you're down in this tube. <laughs> oh, yeah, Let me see this thing. So, if you guys have followed us for any time, we ran one of these on my truck and it was turbo. Hang on, they haven't seen my face yet. Oh, okay. Hello, you have seen my face. Alright, back to the important <laughs> stuff. Um... Well, now we make these and sell these. So you can hit us up. We sell them for a hundred bucks like this, raw. And uh, we want your core back. What is this? You uh, said we make these and sell these. What are yeah, these? Yeah, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Actually, <laughs> You're just like, oh, we make this this metal thing. Yeah. Just uh, we'll hang on and we'll tell you all about this metal thing in a minute. Um, and you can get it powder coated for an extra 40 bucks, whatever color you want. And what this is... Can you get it glow in the dark? I mean, maybe. <laughs> it replaces your math housing with our math housing. Okay. So, turbo stuff. Right. Or cold air intake stuff, if you're into cold air intake stuff. Awesome. That Thank clears you. the hood? Yep. Cool. Let's uh, let's take this off. Let's put this thing on. Take off. this off and put that on. And uh, see what we can do. We already took the, the air cleaner off. So... And get that out of the way. I use my impact driver because the bit like fits this really well. Yeah, I noticed it was kind of like the Phillips hole was kind of big. So it's four Phillips. <laughs> meaning it's like a <laughs> meaning it's like a two and a half minute install. Yep, it's super easy. So you're off. Now you want to make sure you get your gasket here. It's kind oh, of weird. tight. What's holding it on? Like some sort of uh, There's pin or something? Pin right there. Oh, neat. So you just kind of work it off. That's a thick gasket. Yeah, on the. Uh, the later models, like my truck didn't have this. This is a earlier one. Okay. So anyways, then you take this and slip around to your new guy. Pop. And then before installing this, you finish up with yours and you put it in the box and you ship it back to us. <laughs> yes, we need cores. So if you buy one of these from us, please send your core back. Like... Preferably as soon as possible. This thing goes over here. I don't know what it does. But you can put it back on. Like that. And then try and get your screw in. So we're both using these as turbo elbows. However, if you want to set up some sort of like cold air intake, you can easily move your battery from here to over here and probably set up some sort of nice cold air system like up under here. And you just run it from there, boom, done. So cold air intake, 
or turbo elbow, whichever you need. And we're about to close this hood and show you all that it clears the hood. Remove this. Alright, close this hood. Done. Clears the hood. Excellent. And even if it doesn't clear the hood, you can see you can't see that it doesn't, so <laughs> awesome. <laughs> no, seriously, it clears the hood. I know, it's so weird. So weird. You'd think it would only do it when the key was in there, but it does it all the time. It's so stupid. There it is. It's not so there it is. It's nothing. So it's uh, easy for four screw installation. Um, it's aluminum, TIG welded. You get this bead rolled right here. Ronnie said 100 bucks, 140 powder coated, whatever color you want. You specify and we'll send it to you. When you get them, reminder, put it back in the box and send it back to us. Not that one, but your core. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, send us back this one. <laughs> send, us, send us your core back. Where's my core? Right here. Okay, there it is. And make but, sure you take your, your math yeah, out. Swap make sure you grab over. your math sensor so you can, like, so your truck will run. This one isn't Bose yet. This one's for whoever buys it. Exactly. So buy this. All right. So we have two styles here. Well, three styles. We have one that looks like a Nintendo 64 controller. And then two that actually look like throttle body elbows. What am I looking at here? So this is the one that came off my truck, and my truck's a 97, so the math is only held in by two screws, and it's a smaller size, I had it somewhere, I don't know what I did with it, Okay. versus the earlier model, which has a three screw um, math. So you have to specify which one you have. Um, this one's not for sale because it's kind of junky. Um, it came off my truck. <laughs> this one is for sale because it's really pretty. So... Right now we don't have any of these ready to go, and right now we only have this one ready to go because somebody already bought the other one. We had two. So this one's up to 95 uh, it, it, Yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I think 96, 97 is this, and everything okay. else is this. All right. So but we'll try to get we'll try to get a, a couple of both of them made, so we'll have them ready. So when you send us like a picture and say, "Hey, I have this style." Um, mass air sensor we can send you this one and if you have this style right here we can send you this one what i've been doing is the people that have asked me about them and, and said that they wanted one i just go on rock auto and like search their year of truck and see what math it takes oh okay then, <laughs> well I'm that's like, okay good deal that's a rock so, solid way to do it <laughs> so one thing that this doesn't work with organically i'm not real sure how I should say this, but your intake air temperature sensor isn't going to work. Um, Where's your hat? The truck's trying to strip me naked. <laughs> um, so this goes on here, and your what'd you do with the right there? Air cleaner? Okay, so your intake air temperature sensor is right here, which, as you can tell, Bo doesn't use his. Um, I never use mine. Keep in mind, we have both drifted our trucks and driven them daily successfully without any issue both without intake air temperature sensors. Um, uh, we can throw a disclaimer in here, like we're not responsible for what happens to your truck or whatever, but like we both ran our trucks hard and we used them for light duty for a very, very long time without intake air temperature sensors. But we do have a solution and this is all up to you. We're not doing, oh, we have a solution. We're not providing parts. That's yes. new. <laughs> so, your intake air temperature sensor wires, wherever they are, find them. Bose have gone MIA. And get like... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think that's it right there. <laughs> I think that's it because it reaches right up where the air cleaner is right there. Yep. But it's always, been, it. it's always been disconnected, so I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But what you can do is, as you run this, over here to your turbo, you can take your wires and you can extend them across. And you can use a 240 housing and make that up to your intake on your your engine or if you're doing cold air intake same thing or you can always buy one of those um intake air temperature sensor bungs oh. and get an air, air intake temperature sensor off of like the internet or something can you do that maybe i mean you could you're just gonna have to do the research to figure out like which one uses the same 
voltage or whatnot? This, yeah. Okay. It's factory in someone. Yeah, a little research. So. Don't be afraid of research. It's really nice. We've done a good bit I just say trying to get all this done. I say don't run one. I say don't run one too. <laughs> but it's we like look at Arizona. super complex and ridiculous. But like our uh, like our air temperatures out here, they change pretty drastically from day to night, and we drive our trucks day and night. But I don't know if it has anything to do with uh, it. Shouldn't have anything to do with like barometric pressure, humidity, anything like that. Yeah, no. It should just be air intake alone. Yeah. But. I don't know. If we live in Arizona. I don't know how it'll affect it if you live in Alabama or Washington or Cali, whatever. Or Alaska. Or Alaska. <laughs> or New Zealand. Mexico. Mexico. It's probably the same as here. Could Where else do you find hard bodies? Japan. Uh, Australia. Do they have them in Europe? Yeah. Do they? Yeah. There's a guy in England that has this. It's a pretty cool hard body. And it has the uh, like the utility bed, like the one with the side hooks. Oh yeah, dude, yeah. it's that's a long sick. bed. It looks kind of goofy being a long bed, but it's yeah. got like really cool wheels on it. It's this pretty like bluey purple color. Oh, bluey yeah, purple. Cool. It might be blurple. Blurple. <laughs> You're blurple. <laughs> so ever since my um, rear bearing exploded, my uh, truck has been over here. I just haven't replaced the axle yet because we haven't pulled the axle off of the. Uh, the parts hard body over here but I just wanted to show you all all the hard bodies that we have over here we got the OG drift hard body right here you got Levi Levi right there what's up playing with the dirt huh oh okay trying to dump it <laughs> we got this one which is Ronnie's new daily hey I think it's starting to rain yeah it's weird Ronnie's new daily there, the parts hard body, and then Ronnie's dirty ass STI. He's so angry about this. Look at this, look how dirty this is. I'm showing him how dirty your STI is. Oh my gosh, dude, we gotta take this thing and get it washed for real. What's up? What are you doing? Looking at your dad's dirty car. Yeah, the rain will hopefully wash it off. <laughs> Be nice if Ronnie would get out here and wash it off. Did you get my truck back together yet? It is. Interesting. Yep. It's like Fernando. It's like when you go to the to the cheese farm, they say, Welcome to the cheese farm, have a gouda day. Oh, okay. Yeah. I hope you have a gouda time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was Hindu or something. No. <laughs> um, anyways, so if you guys want to order this, you can uh, talk to us on Instagram. Um, just hit up what is it? Local Losers five. Local Losers five twenty. Like yeah, it's local underscore losers underscore 520 there it is Thanks, Which, it's it's at the beginning or the end of every, every one of video. our videos <laughs> um so hit us up there or you can email us and uh our email will be down in the description because i don't know it i think it's maybe we'll even put it in the video like right here over ronnie's face yeah maybe <laughs> <laughs> um i think it's like local losers arizona az i think is what it is it? oh is it i think so but anyways um Hit us up on there if you want to order one, and we'll send you out a PayPal email so that you can send us some money. Yeah, send us money. Yeah. And, like, one of the most important part, obviously the most important part is that you get your product and we get our money and whatnot, but please send us your core back. If you buy one of these, send us a core. If you have any extra cores, we will buy them from you. If you go to the, the pull-apart, the junkyard, whatever, often, because we see a lot of hard bodies in the junkyard, um, take them off. They're four screws and like one connector. Take them off. You can take off the, the, the sensors so they don't charge you for the sensor. And I think they'll, like, we buy the cores from our pull apart and they're not expensive at all. Yeah. Because if you guys don't send us cores, we can't make anymore. Right. So the next guy doesn't get his. So go get a core and we'll buy them from you. Yeah. Anyway, but that's it. We're selling these things right here. <laughs>
Boom. Right here. It doesn't go here. It goes here. Anyways, this is what we're selling. We Model this for us. Dang. You missed your calling. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys later. You're supposed to play it like a, like a trombone. Oh. A tromboner. <laughs>